Hello everybody, I'm Nick and yeah, you read the title, you should stop using Link right now, it is forbidden, you should just not use it ever ever again under any circumstances and any use cases, it's bad, it's hard to read and hard to debug. At least that's what an employer said to their entire engineering department and now those teams just can't use Link anymore, which is insane in my opinion. So in this video I'm going to take a look at this reddit post over here explaining the entire situation and try to understand if that manager just banning Link has any good reasons to do so because there could be some reasons in some very very niche use cases but for the vast majority of situations that claim is just insane to me. If you like that of content and you want to see more make sure you subscribe for more training check out my courses on domtrain.com. Okay so let's take a look at the post. So the title is link equals forbidden. Our employer just banned link for us and we are no longer allowed to use it. Nowhere. This is not just a link to SQL. This is not just query syntax. This is not just extension method syntax. Everywhere, no matter the use case or where you're going to use it, you're just not allowed to use link, which is just mind blowing to me. Link is one of the most powerful features that .NET and C Sharp has to offer. In fact, we just dedicated an entire four hour course on Dome Train, which you can buy any other course until the 21st of April and get for free because that's how important I think the topic is and everyone should know how to use it. And in fact, it's actually Dom Train's birthday. So until the 30th of April, you can get 40% off of any course with code birthday40, 20% off of any bundle with code birthday20, and 15% off your first year of Dom Train Pro, our subscription offering that gives you access to all of our courses with code birthday15. Don't miss this opportunity, link below. So his reasoning was that link queries are hard to read, hard to debug, and they're prone to error. Okay, so I want to show you something before I move into reading the rest of the post, because those claims are just nuts to me. I want to go to the ID and I want to load the simplest of link queries you can possibly have. Let's say that I'm getting a range of a thousand numbers incrementally, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 999. And then I say select the double value of each value, so 0 multiplied by 2 is 0, 1 multiplied by 2 is 2, and so on, and then get a subset of those where that number is more than 20, and then in the end give me the sum. Look how easy this is to read and how easy it is to write, and also very easy to debug and put breakpoints exactly on these individual computation blocks within select, where, and everything, and proceed with my compute. Now, I should point out that this is the extension method syntax. If you were to write this in the query syntax, which I absolutely hate, please don't use it. It's horrible. I think it should be removed from the language, but you would be looking at something like this, and then you can make a claim that this syntax is just bad. But we're not going to look into this. We're going to look into this. So that's what that person is saying. Now, you know what this could look like if you were to handwrite this to improve readability, debuggability, and performance? Well, one of the ways to write it is this. Have the sum here, have a subset selection, and then allocate an entire list, which you're not doing with the select because it's an enumerable, so it's even more efficient. Then you have the where clause, which is a new statement here, and then you add everything and you return the sum. And those two things will return the same, just to prove you that it's the exact same thing. Um, in fact, this should be like this, but if I do that, and I say right line, you're going to have result, and also you're going to have sum. Here we go, going to run it, same thing. So really, really, this is easier to read and less error prone. You know, you can make an argument about the debugging aspect of it, that yeah, okay, this is pretty straightforward, pretty easy to debug, it reads very sequentially, but come on like really that's your argument and then let's proceed the person says i love link i'm good with it it's easy to read easy to write easy to debug and it's not more or less painful than uh nested for each loops absolutely fair point i think it it's a very valid point like try to do a select many or multiple selects or multiple where's and try to make sure that all of those steps along the way are efficient like link gets optimized performance wise as it goes. So that link you wrote will get faster. That for each loop you wrote that might allocate an array or a list or something, it won't just magically get faster because Microsoft just touched it with its magical performance stick that says, I don't know, Stephen Tobe. So it's just a, such an insane claim to me. And by the way, at this point, I should say, if your employer says that, 
ever or something insane like that run this is a bad place to work you're going to become a west developer staying in that place so just leave find a better company these are just absurd takes now it's very nice that the author acknowledges that the only argument could be the slight performance impact uh, but probably can imagine that performance went down the drain a long time ago and it's not because they used link obviously with that sort of engineering leadership i can understand why so yeah link can be less performant even significantly less performant uh, than its handwritten counterpart However, do you really need that performance? I've worked at environments where we absolutely did need that performance, so we had to remove Link, but I also worked at environments in the same company, by the way, that it didn't really matter. And it's just made so much more sense to use Link everywhere because it made some very complicated aggregations way easier to write and maintain. If performance is not critical to the point of like microseconds absolutely use link i think every dotnet dev should know link me too that's why we have an entire course on it and i don't want that skill to rot away now that i can't use it at work i still use it for my personal projects and so on what are your arguments on pro and contra link am i wrong am i not uh, how would you explain the boss planning this move uh, and this post got a lot of attention so let's take a look and see what the comments are saying are you talking about the link query syntax or do you mean the link extensions as well and that's because i totally agree with this comment the link query syntax is trash it's bad it tries to mix something that doesn't look like c sharp into c sharp it feels out of place and i don't like my language to have features that takes me out of place of that language i'm feeling like i'm having an out-of-body experience with c sharp where I somehow link snuck into my language and i now have to just accept it and i do i think that link is just one of the best features of c sharp and a great selling point another great comment and very thoughtful highly upvoted as well uh wtf get out while you can don't walk run i agree terrible place to work <laughs> you leave the job indeed your employer bans link you leave the employer very valid and then scott hanselman comes in and he comments this is silly uh, feel free to put me in touch with them and i'll get on a call and explain uh why this is silly like someone like scott vp of developer relations in microsoft just comes in and says yeah come on uh, also i've got a three hour video coming up with steven tobe this week where we literally write link from scratch and we show you explicitly how you can do it easily like even someone like steven tobe the performance person is like let's see how we can write link definitely stay tuned for that these new long videos by scott hanselman are just a great content as well so take a look at them uh, him and steven tobe break down complicated topics in very very nice and very easy to digest pieces and then unless you write them queries on the same line it's most readable way to write loops in any language and i agree and this sort of alludes to my point which is any feature can be abused any feature any language can be written in a hard to read hard to write unmaintainable or hard to debug way it's not about the feature it's about how you use the feature and ultimately richard here has a great point to me that sounds like the worst type of micromanagement probably by a typical cargo cult manager who's read the one link equals bad article and jumped into the wrong conclusion head first totally agree uh, not an article probably a linkedin post probably um and then or youtube video anyway and then the rest of the comments are an endless outrage about how this is just insane so my take is just use link wherever you want once you understand how to use link properly it will make your code better you're gonna naturally have a performance boost as new dotnet versions are coming because microsoft keeps optimizing link and there's nothing wrong with it if you do have these very niche high performance scenarios then maybe don't use it but again that's situational and try to not abuse the feature like with any other feature in any programming language but now i know from you do you use link and did you ever have a feature of a language banned for some reason leave a comment down below and let me know well that's all i had for you for this video thank you very much for watching and as always keep coding